how you love me electric like you do love it how you love me electric always you love it how you love me electric electric i love it how you love me a lot love me a lot love me electric hey guys and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be another thrift with me and try on haul i have some really incredible pieces, possibly some of my best finds yet. I cannot wait for you guys to see the footage and see everything I got. You are going to love it. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and check out my social channels linked down below. Before we get into the thrifting footage, I wanted to quickly thank today's sponsor, BetterHelp. If you don't know what BetterHelp is, BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy platform. BetterHelp makes professional therapy available anytime, any place, anywhere, on your tablet, a phone, or a computer. BetterHelp will assess your wants and needs and match you with an online professional therapist within 48 hours. You can schedule weekly chats online, phone calls, or you can even message them any time of the day if you are just feeling extra stressed or you have a question or even if you forgot to mention something during your last session. BetterHelp is more affordable than your traditional offline therapy and they even offer financial aid. And of course, they gave me an incredible promo to share with you guys. You all can visit betterhelp.com slash Charlie Scott. That's help, H-E-L-P, for 10% off and join the over 2 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional today. Again, thank you so, so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get into the thrifting footage. Check the putback rack first, but actually, this just caught my attention. This feels like handmade, it's so thick. Doing really well. I found one thing on the putback rack, but it was like a vintage piece I wanted to show Daniel. And then I immediately went to the dresses and the like um, pantsuits and stuff and found so much stuff. I cannot wait to show you guys. Daniel, sorry to me. Okay, I just got a bunch of stuff. Making sure the dressing room's locked. Let's try it on. Also, I found Twilight shirts. I like feel sad passing these up. This one's New Moon, and this one just says Edward Twilight. Alright, first up is this Harley Davidson t shirt. Definitely gonna get this. Super easy to style. Tees like this. Also, guys, I thrifted these pants a while ago. The button broke so i just put one of those little um adjustable buttons on from amazon anyways they're cute okay this is oversized but i have a vision and i can't show you guys under here because i'm just wearing a bra but sneak peek these are too short i want like a longer length but they are good denim they're from garage but i'm gonna pass high-waisted cords are like a little bit big but i have to have them i think i can make it work also, these are like super duper low rise. Um, Elia, you can see. Such a cute color and fit. It's a gorgeous day for some good women. I really don't want to buy any more sweaters right now because it's getting warm outside, but this one's so pretty and it's from Limited. I have not had good luck at this Goodwill in a while, so I was not expecting much. But we're doing great. Uh, how old is it? Five. I've seen these a few times here. I think they're cute. Just like a little bit more dressy than I would normally wear. Got a bunch of stuff. It's kind of messy in here, which is weird because this not one normally isn't messy. But I'm wearing this dress I thrifted when I went thrifting with my friends Sydney and Daniel. It's from American Eagle, but isn't it cute? It'll be in this haul. But it's so comfy and cash. Okay. I was hoping that these would be like the right amount of baggy they are 
Vintage Faded Glory. But I think they're just too big. <laughs> Dang, they're cute. These are vintage, some like workwear brand. This pocket like wants to flip out or something, so it looks weird, but they're size medium, so they're like kind of loose on me, but I feel like it's kind of cute. And we're going to Hilton Head next week, so I feel like these would be fun and easy to wear when we're like biking around. Plus, vintage, and I can always resell, but I think I'm gonna get them. Okay, not wearing the right bra for this, but are you kidding me? I got two other ones, and I'm gonna make you guys wait to see them in the trial, but they're new with tags. So beautiful. Lastly, these are from Loft, which I don't, or Ann Taylor, I think, pick up a lot of, but they fit me really well. I think they're so cute, and I like that they like hit right at the ankle, so I might get these. Hey guys, so we had really good luck at that Goodwill, like I showed you all. Um, just picked up prescription at Walmart, and now we're going home. Say hey. Hey. Say, say, I love Goodwill. Why was I not say that? Why not? You do love Goodwill. Or why are we on home then? Because we just went to Goodwill. Stinker. I tried to talk her into doing another Goodwill trip. She didn't want to. That is not true. I don't know. He's being poopy. Hey guys. It's been a couple days since we went thrifting last. And we were going to go to this Goodwill that's far away today for my TikTok trend or TikTok uh, series, but I'm just like not in the mood to go very far. I don't know why. We have plans later tonight, so maybe that's it. I just want to like be not gone the entire day. So we're just going to go to our favorite one. Also, my aunt, um, what's the word? Um, and? No. Uh, him is when you take the link. Mm. Took these pants in for me that I showed you guys in the last video, the Miss America pants. So I'll have Daniel get a clip of those when we get there. Ready? Here they are. So she just took them in uh, at the waist. I don't know how much, but now they fit perfect. And I love them. And we can go to Goodwill now. Freezing in here. And that is really affecting my want to shop. Date. I've gone to all my normal spots at this schedule and I haven't found a single thing, which has like never happened. bag but it's twenty dollars and I don't need another bag so I'm not gonna get it but it is really cute I've shown these before here but they have been here and I wish they were my size so bad they look like such a good everyday sandal a lot of eight and a halfs have been here for a while I don't know if that's not a popular size but there's some cute eight and a halfs at this goodwill these are really cute too they're size six, but I have two pairs of slides, so I don't need them. So it didn't get anything at that Goodwill, so we came to another one. Another fail. I'm at the Goodwill that always has a lot of music, so hopefully you hear me and I don't get copyrighted. Look at these. 
I'm gonna let those out. Anyways, I'm finding so much stuff. I can't wait to show you guys. dressing room. I'm gonna try everything on. Okay, I really love this print. It's gorgeous. Um, I'm not in love with it on. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like with the jeans or something. So I'm going to think about this one. But the colors are so, so pretty. I haven't buttoned this one all the way. It's actually a medium, so I'm guessing it's supposed to be cropped, but it is vintage. I'll show you all the tag. Um, but I really like the shape of it. It's like kind of like a vest at the bottom or something. I don't know. It does have shoulder pads, but they're not too big. I could obviously take those out too if I wanted to. I don't thrift a lot of graphic tees. This I'm confused about because the original tag is gone, but like the instructions care tag is still there and it looks kind of vintage and feels kind of vintage. Um, so I don't know. Like I said, I don't really get a lot of graphic tees. I don't wear them very often. I do like this color green and Mickey Mouse is like kind of classic and cute with like an outfit like this, just easy. So I had no more sweaters, but this one's vintage Abercrombie. I am in love with the trim around the neck and then the sleeves, but it is wool, it's kind of itchy, and I don't really need a sweater, but it's so cute. It's from the brand BB. I was really hoping it would fit perfect, but it is like a little bit bigger over here. I thought it'd be cute with like a white t-shirt underneath, like I've told you guys. So I'm gonna think about this one. Such a pretty color though. Found this Betsy Johnson performance sweatshirt. It's pretty cute. But again, I like don't really normally thrift stuff like this, like uh, athletic wear or stuff. I like to buy like dresses and skirts and blouses, but I don't know. From Urban Outfitters, it's supposed to be a dress, but I don't know if it was washed or something. Maybe it's just a mini dress. I think it'll be too short for me, so I'm not gonna get it. I'm excited about these, but they have stain right here, and they're like kind of see-through, so I'm not gonna get them. Okay, I'm actually supposed to be filming a haul right now, but we went to Goodwill to pick something. Or Good Walmart to pick something up, and we decided to stop by our local Goodwill because it didn't look that busy, even though it is a Saturday night. So Friday night. Friday night. <laughs> This is a guest lunchbox. I've never seen that before. So far, haven't found anything. They're stuck, but those are cute. I'm not finding anything, but Daniel's finding a lot of stuff. Aren't you, babe? Mm -hmm. Found this J. Crew skirt. It's really pretty color, but it's a size four. Um, so I'm not going to get it, but really good condition. Very cute. That's Athleta, I think. Yeah. That's a good find, too. I don't know if I've showed this in this vlog, but this jacket's been here for a while. And I think it's the cutest, like, springy plaid color pattern. It's just a little too big for me. I tried it on, tried to make it work, but it just doesn't. But it's so cute. I can't believe it's still here. We got some stuff. I'm gonna go home and film a haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that footage. And now let's get into the haul. I'm gonna do something I don't normally do and start out with something that is not clothing, but it's just so cute. And I actually picked it up tonight. I'm so excited to show you all. If you've been watching my videos, all my thrift hauls, or even like follow me on Instagram, you know that although my style is not super Western, I can really admire a good Western piece of clothing or home decor. Um, and our living room has kind of been Western antique inspired. Um, don't even know if that's even like a <laughs> um, category, but it's our category, I guess. So today, when I found something that I have pinned on Pinterest, I've looked at on Etsy, I've thought about buying, but like online, but I wanted to thrift it. Daniel pointed it out to me and I screamed, 
not only did we find one, but we found two. These are so cute. They are little cowboy boot glasses or mugs, whatever you want to call them. I'm guessing they're like, probably people drink beer out of them. I don't know. I don't drink alcohol, so that could be totally off. But they are just so cute and exactly what I have been looking for. It's been on my list to thrift and they were only $1.99 a piece. I just think they are so adorable. I could drink some hot chocolate out of it. I could drink some sugar-free Red Bull with ice. You know, the options are endless. Lemon water. They're just so, so cute. I'm so glad they're mine. Um, also, real quick, another thing that we thrifted is this lamp. Daniel actually found it and picked it out. Um, and since he's found it on eBay for almost $300, <gasps> So um, I'm not sure if we're going to keep it or sell it, but it does match like the colors in our room. So either way, it was a super cool. First piece, we're going to start off with a, a real bang here. And some of you might not think this is a bang, but I do. <laughs> First off is an Edward Cullen Twilight t-shirt. Um, it doesn't have the original tag on it, so I'm not sure where this is from. But how funny would it be if I wore this to see the new Batman with Robert Pattinson? I told my mom she needs to find a Jasper, a Team Jasper shirt. Well, I said, we sh you should find a Twilight shirt. And she was like, I want a Team Jasper shirt. So I think we're going to wear these to see Robert Pattinson and Batman. Um, but I'm a Twilight stan. I have to watch all the Twilights multiple times a year. Like, they just take me back. I love them, okay? I can't wait to wash it and wear it. I mean, I'm going to rock it from day to day. But I'm also going to sleep in it and cry in it and probably binge watch Twilight in it. I've been on the road, I've been doing shows. Staying on the comfy casual train here, I went thrifting with my gal pal, Sydney, um, and Daniel was there too, duh, but it was really exciting for Sydney to be there with me, and um, she was getting some blazers, she got a few different cute pieces, and she also found me these. And she was like, these are 13 going on 30, and I was like, "They, those are 13 going on 30. They're so cute, they're just little pajama pants, they're actually from gap body it says they're extra small but you know they're supposed to be like a loose comfy fit and i've already slept in them twice they are just so cute and just you know a nice colorful happy pant for me to go to bed and wake up in now we ain't steak remember sleeping on the floor we're still in at the gas station when the time's cold in the kitchen house still trying to flip it out the stove rocking fake jays praying that nobody know watch them take my dog away it was way too hard to stay composed Fight. sticking with the fun colorful pieces like i told you guys i'm going to hilton head i'm leaving for the beach i'm going to the beach on monday and i found the cutest little beach cover-up well like partial cover-up okay I say this is a cover-up, but I think I could style it normally. It is kind of like that slick, like, what is this material called? I don't know. Oh, it's polyester and spandex. So it's not like your typical everyday material, but I feel like I could style it really fun for um, summertime. It's from the brand Sugar and, si Sugar and Spice. No, Sugar and Slice, sorry. Um, so I think it's vintage, but I have not really done any research into it because I'm definitely not going to sell this. I'm going to keep it. And it was just too adorable to pass up. Just a fun little mini skirt I can wear with my swimsuit or even out and about if we go bike riding or something. I don't know, you guys. Up next, another piece I was keeping my eye on, thinking about Hilton Head for, are these vintage overalls and I think I showed you guys um them in the video but what I didn't show you all here let me put the button on um what I didn't show you all is when I was leaving I found an identical pair but just like the denim it's not striped it's just plain denim I grabbed those two so they're from the brand natural choice sustanza workwear probably not saying that right um, so this is the first pair. They are navy, white striped. They have pockets on the back. They're cuffed. Cute silver hardware. This pocket here like wants to fold down. I don't know why. So after I wash it, if it's still like that, I'm just going to iron it down. 
but easy little outfit to wear with a little t-shirt underneath, super gross, or I could even wear this over top of my swimsuit to bite down to the beach. Hey, I got a confession. Been losing all momentum. But just because it's easy. But that don't make it better. And when I was leaving, I found the same pair um, in just plain denim. So I grabbed them without even really looking at them. I just noticed the tag and I was like, oh, these are the same, but these are size large. So they are definitely too big on me. Um, I think I'm going to list these for sale. Um, I'm not for sure what platform yet, but I just, I think they're so cute and I know that I won't wear them this baggy because I don't think. So these are probably going to get listed, but either way, really cute vintage find. I know everyone is not loving the low rise trend and I, I'm not going full low rise believe me I still have like 50 pairs of high waisted jeans um, but I can admire a good low rise and these vintage YMI's I couldn't pass them up so they are a gorgeous green color it gives me kind of like it's like light a little bit lighter than army green um, and like I said they are vintage YMI they have this cute uh, detail here on the waist they like button and they are low rise like I said and I just love pants that have the button pockets on the back I have a smaller little to no butt um, and this you know gives you just a little extra something back there um, my mom has always taught me that and she's always worn cute jeans like this so she's definitely inspiring my style as I grow up and I just think these are super fun. It will be so easy to style with Converse, Nikes, even like my Birkenstock Bostons. So many different ways to style them. And they're just a comfy everyday pant. If you know my husband, you know that he also loves 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 thrifting he has a thrifting page where he just shares some of his finds as well as sells some stuff it's secondhand scumbag but he is a pro at finding vintage 90s 80s 70s tees um and he found some really cool ones i wanted to share with you guys um a few of them he is selling but one of them he is letting me keep because he's so sweet uh this first one is a vintage hanes um single stitch which apparently like before in the 90s is when they only did single stitch so any single stitch you find is like a rare vintage piece um so this first one says i got juiced in florida really cute graphic um on it and i love the colors and it's a size medium he also found this harley davidson just has the it's kind of hard to read but it's gray with the white lettering that says HD and it has a red flame. This one is a size small, so it is smaller. Um, and then the back says, let me show you. It says Harley Davidson Motorcycles, Harley Davidson, Louisville, Kentucky. And this next one is a Beavis and Butthead. It says Led Zeppelin, hey man, we're famous. That sucks. And then they have ACDC and Metallica shirts on. And this one's a 2X, but he thinks it fits more like an extra large. And lastly is this cute pink one. This one feels so fragile and vintage. It's like a lot thinner than the others. And this one just says mini Walt Disney World on ice. It has a cute Minnie Mouse. And then the back has mini and says the same thing. And this one, you can't really read the tag, but you can see that it says L. So we're thinking maybe like a kid's large but we're not for sure. Anyways, one of those t-shirts I'm keeping and I want you guys to guess below which one you think it is. And after a day or so, I'll put the answer in the comments below. On to some dresses. Funny story about these next three dresses I'm gonna show you all. Um, I posted on my Instagram story wearing this one and my friend messaged me, my friend, a girl, like childhood friend, she's my hairstylist now. She messaged me and she was like, uh, I dropped that off and I was like, don't like why didn't you tell me that you had these beautiful dresses 
to donate. Like I would have bought them from you. And she was like, I didn't think about it. I'm so sorry. Next time I will. I just thought it was funny that these were like one of my friends and I could have just bought them from her directly. But nevertheless, they are from the brand Opali. Um, and they are all new with tags. She is wild. They're still on the website for $75. I was like, why don't you return these online? And she's like, I'm too lazy. It's like, okay, girl. So first one is this beautiful hot pink. I love this kind of like sheer mesh sleeve. It's really nice and fitted and it is a size four. Gorgeous pink color. The next one is almost identical. It's just a spaghetti strap and this one is also a size four. They don't zip that well. I can tell you that. There we go. So here is the next one. Very, very similar to the first one. This last one is just insane. This would be the perfect bridal shower piece or um, like bachelorette party. So many different um, wedding looks I could think of for this. Um, this one is also a size four and it's hard to see, you know, hard to envision like this, but you guys of course will see it tried on. Gorgeous um, ruffles all the way down the sleeves, this fun ruffle on the end of the sleeve. Very beautiful, very flattering, and very bridal-esque. And I'm sure I'll find an amazing photo opportunity to wear this. If not, Daniel's taking me on a date. Maybe we'll retake some wedding photos. I don't know. Shit was amazing. Can we take it back to 95? we had this drama in our lives. Just staring at the screen every day and night. I miss the rush All right. Back to our beachy pieces. I picked up these fun crochet pants. They're more like a capri. And they don't have any tags on them whatsoever. So who knows when they're from, if they're vintage, if they're new, where they're from, I have no clue. Um, but they do have like a nice little bit of stretch to them. So I thought it'd be cute with a little bikini bottom underneath, you know, just so I don't have to walk around in my swimsuit if I don't want to. Up next is another piece I thrifted when I was with my friend Sydney. It is a Harley Davidson shirt. I'm not for sure if it is vintage or not, um, but it is a size small. It's gray and it just has the Harley Davidson in rhinestones with some red and then a skull. Next up is another pair of funky pants. You guys know I love to have some fun pants in my wardrobe. I actually tried these on and left these and came back a few days later after thinking about them so much, but I just assumed that they were gonna be gone and they were still there. So I took it as a sign that I just had to bring them home. It's from the brand Hip Gypsy. It says they're a size six, but I think they're, maybe they shrunk or something or it runs small because they don't fit like a six. Um, and they just have that invisible zipper on the side. They are tapered, which would be cooler to me if they were like a straight leg or a flare, but I can work with the tighter leg. It's just a cute red and white gingham print. It would be really fun for summertime, spring, or even like a 4th of July look. Next up is a pair of jeans. You know, I keep telling myself I need to slow down thrifting jeans because I have so many jeans. If you follow me on TikTok, you see my reels where I film in front of my closet and you just see like rows and rows of, of jeans. But I just love jeans, you guys. Okay, I'm a jeans girl. Um, so these are Tommy Hilfiger Classic Fit. They look vintage, but I don't have any way to, I like, I don't know Tommy Hilfiger that well. So I'm going to do some research. They have the cute Tommy Hilfiger flag on the side. Um, this nice leather Tommy Hilfiger labor, labor, label on the back. Um, and then I don't think they have a size, um, but I tried them on and I thought they're like a cute Hailey Bieber-esque baggy fit. Thought it'd be cute with some sneakers. So took them home. I folded the bottom up. I've really been liking that 
fold. Um, I've been seeing it's like fun, casual, girl next door vibe. Um, and then it also has a little distressing on the knee. Playboy man. Many used to have to work for that. Work for that. Work for that. Wait for me, gotta dial up. Can't call my landline because it's all tied up. Just bike over there. Next up is a really beautiful blouse. I'm excited to style this blouse um, for a like dressier look, maybe a date night or church or something. It's from the brand BB. It's a size medium and it has this beautiful, um, let me button this up real quick so you can see. Um, it has a gorgeous high neck collar. I'm not going to button all the buttons, but you'll be able to get the gist. Um, with this fun ruffle all the way down and then these gorgeous sleeves like look at all those buttons with a nice little lace detail trim not with a nice little lace trim empty bottles messy bed clothes are hanging off the shelf Memory scattered in my head. Up next, you guys saw me trying on in the dressing room. It's that little vintage polka dot top from the brand Mr. Noah. With that, the bottom, the trim of this is really what sold me. It's like a vest or something. I'm not sure what it is. It does say it's a size medium, definitely small for a medium. And I'm going to let you guys know what I think about the shoulder pads. Um, they usually bother me, but these are so small that I feel like they don't make that big of a difference. But fun prints and patterns like this are always easy for me to style. I think they're funky and nice to have in my wardrobe. Been a mess since you left. Watching screens, closing shades. Drinking, eating by myself. Haven't left you in days. Been a mess since you left. I'm back. My dad called. Um, chatted with him. For Another pair of pants real quick. Yes, they're jeans. I'm crazy. I'm sorry. Um, these I was really conflicted about and I'm still kind of conflicted. The thing is, I know that my mom will love them. She'll hype me up about them. So I know she'll be in my corner. So these are Levi's. They are not quite vintage because they are from 2004. Um, but they're older and you can tell by the style that they're older. But I feel like this is coming back. Kind of gives me Y2K vibes, um, and it has a nice little Levi's logo on the back. But they are called the 504 Slouch. The Slouch is what sold me, really. Um, and they are a size 3. So, I believe they're juniors. You guys told me that odd numbers are juniors, so you guys are teaching me so much. Um, so, I just thought this like kind of wide, raw, wide leg raw hem was very 2000s. Thought it would be cute with um, like some sandals in the summer, even like a pair of sneakers. I don't know, just something different to have than your typical, you know, all the other jeans I have really. I've been keeping all your boxes in case you ever wanted to move back in again. But it's been a while and Next up, very March, very St. Patrick's Day of me, I found these awesome high-waisted vintage um, corduroy pants. Now, I say vintage because the tag looks and feels so old, but I honestly don't know anything about these um, because the tag is like almost gone, you guys. Like It is hanging on for dear life, and there is no brand name on it. This is just... Oh my gosh, wait, it says Kmart. It says Kmart. That is cute. Guys, I miss Kmart. I love Kmart. Okay, anyways, so these are some beautiful green high-waisted corduroys. They have the pockets, the button fly. I love everything about them. They're incredible. They're wide leg and just another fun pant for my wardrobe. I feel like I just want all the funky pants and I'm slowly starting the most incredible collection. Next up 
is a more simple piece. It's actually something I didn't used to really like on myself, I lived on other people, but recently have been loving. And this is just a plain white button up. This one is from Athleta. It is an extra small P, which I'm guessing is extra small petite. So crisp. It has this fun like um, detail on the collar. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like clear right there. And they also have that on the back. Empty bottles, messy bed. Clothes are hanging off the shelf. And last but not least, you guys let me know what you think about this. Something that has been on my thrift list was a matching pantsuit, matching skirt suit, you know, one, whatever I could find really. And it is harder to find that in my size. And this one is possibly handmade by the stitching I showed my mom. Um, and she's thinking it was handmade too, but whoever made this is so, so talented. Um, this is a matching plaid pantsuit with this gorgeous green lining. Um, there's no sizing on this. There's no brand, no spot where a tag used to be. Like it is just a mystery, but it is so cute. The trousers are high waisted. They're like a loose baggy fit, but they do fit on my waist pretty well. Uh, they could be taken in a little bit, but you know, my aunt, maybe I could get her to take them in for me. But it was just a piece I had to have. I could style these pieces separately or together for just like a total boss look, you know? Like, of course I had to have this. And it's been on my thrift list. So glad I found it. Memory scattered in my head. Been a mess since you left. Watching screens, closing shades. Drinking and eating by myself. Haven't left here in days. Been a mess since you left. I've been keeping all your boxes in case you ever want it. And that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me over on Instagram. I'm at truthlycharlie and my has and my husband is at level wheels. Again, thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye.